parmigian, pancetta, eggs, pasta, wine, me, you, us, now, happening, words, one. Only one thing on my mind, spaghetti carbonara. We are making it for the first time, we are eating it for the 10th. Let's get started. <laughs> we are going to boil some water for some pasta. That is about as easy as it gets. Well, actually, it's not even looking. Did I get it? I think so. <laughs> okay, so the water is going to be coming to a boil. This recipe is so fast and easy. Let's work with our pancetta now. And I never really worked too much with pancetta. I think I have to remove that. But I was too lazy to look it up before I started. And uh, now we're here. We're just going to cut this into nice bite-sized pieces. And it's going to cook. It's going to get nice and brown. Oh, baby. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what uh, ooh, baby was about. But I cut it into nice pieces like this. You guys cut it as big as you like. Okay, guys, the water's coming to a boil. We have our beautiful pancetta, like this. Look, simple like this, because it's a Sunday and I don't want to stress. We put it into a cold pan. We're going to put that pan on medium, because that is the size I want to one day be. So what I'm seeing here, the eggs, the cheese, salt, and pepper. But I think I'm going to times 10 the pepper, because I really like pepper. Or else, follow this recipe. This book is awesome. Okay, I need a bowl. Today is a Sunday and I had parmesan in my fridge. So we're using parmesan. Traditionally, I think they use pecorino romano because it is a Roman dish. But this is what I had. <laughs> I really want to see you love. Now we're going to go in with as much cracked pepper as your heart desires. I'm going for a lot. And uh, we'll be back here in 10 minutes when I'm done cracking the pepper. <laughs> okay, now we're going to just give that all a good mix. It's going to come together and be a beautiful thing. And I think that's about ready. So we're just going to take those out soon. It's really nice. I'm happy that that did not light on fire. Look how nice this is. All the fat of the pancetta is getting soaked up by the pasta. It's really nice. We're going to go back in with the bits. Okay, guys, the heat is off right now, but it's still, there's a lot of heat in here. So that's what's going to cook the eggs. So we're going to add this in quickly. Yeah, it's going to be nice. It's going to be creamy, all rich. And now for the real test, we're going in. Mmm, okay. I was doubting myself. When we were at the stove, I was in a panic. I thought I'd put too much cheese. I didn't. I put just enough. That's good. That's really good. Win. Lessons learned. This is delicious. But when you're adding in the egg cheese mixer to the pasta with all the fat of the pancetta, add a bit of the cooking water first. Like that, it lowers the heat of the pan. Because we almost made scrambled eggs. I was very worried about that. <laughs> So try this. I think you're going to love it. Serve it to someone you love. Have a good night. Peace.